The New York Giants entered training camp with numerous uncertainties. A new general manager, three new coordinators, and no Michael Strahan. Those issues, along with rumors of locker room turmoil, had many predicting a disastrous season. Early on, it looked like those predictions would come true. Wind in motion on a second and 11. Romo deep drop back to pass, has time. Fastball over the middle, wide open Owens. Makes the catch, runs out of a tackle. 15, 10, 5, touchdown Terrell Owens. And the Packers have put up an impressive 28 points here in the second half. He had all day to throw that football. This defense in two games has given up a total of 80 points. With the Giants in danger of crumbling, New York invited Lieutenant Colonel Greg Gadsden to address the team. Gadsden, who lost both his legs while serving in Iraq, delivered an inspirational talk, reminding the players how important it was to fight through adversity. The next day, New York trailed Washington 17 to three at halftime. The Giants refused to give up and fought back with 21 unanswered points. Burris makes it, man miss, touch right to the 20, to the 15, to the 10, to the five, touchdown, flexing up Burris. In the final minute, Washington had four chances to score from the Giants one. New York held on the first three attempts. So the Giants really can't afford to give up any points here. Oh, well, defense has come out and get another big stop. Fourth and goal at the one. This is it. Campbell takes the snap. Hand off left for Bats, and he's tripped up and stopped short. Giants stopped him on fourth and goal, and they're going to win the ball game. And the Giants may have saved their season with a stirring victory against their NFC East rivals. The win over Washington was a turning point for both the team and the defense. That's the wide out. That's 19. When the unit began to grasp Steve Spagnola's scheme, the Giants exploded, winning six straight. I've seen you. You are the best. You are better than me. All right? They can't touch you. Spagnolo loved to blitz, and he had the talent to do it. Against the Eagles, Big Blue sacked Donovan McNabb, an NFL record 12 times. After a slow start, Michael Strahan made his presence felt by breaking one of the Giants' most revered records. Steps up under pressure, and he's sacked by Michael Strahan, and there's the New York Giants record, 133 and a half, and he does it with Lawrence Taylor in the house. O.C. Yumanura showed why he's the heir apparent. McNabb takes the snap, drops back under pressure, sack! McNabb flushed out to his right, gets dragged down by O.C. Yumanura. Got sacked by Human Euro! Team record by Human Euro. Sack number six for Rossi. By season's end, New York led the league in sacks. But the defense wasn't one dimensional. Everyone contributed, even the rookies. And it's intercepted by the Giants! Running down the left sideline, rookie Aaron Ross. He'll walk in for the touchdown! His second interception of the ballgame. Gilford back to throw, sacked by Human Euro. Ball is loose. Picked up by Osi. He's running with it. He's got roadblocks to midfield. No one's going to catch Human Euro. He gets the hat trick, the sack, the forced fumble, and the touchdown 75 yards. At 5 and 2, New York was back in playoff contention. But to remain there, the Giants would need even more from their defense. Big Blue was about to embark on the longest road trip in NFL history. At midseason, the Giants traveled to London to play the first ever regular season game outside of North America. Hey, another Sunday, another time to do what we do. Now this time we had to travel a little bit further. We had to do all that. We got to get right. Right now, that ain't no reason for us not to come out here perform the way we put perform. Like many of their games, this one wasn't pretty, but Big Blue found a way. The victory thousands of miles from home cemented their status as road warriors. Manning looks, trying to find Shockey. He's covered. Manning's going to roll to his left. To the five. Manning to the goal line. Touchdown, Eli Manning. Congratulations, first international win. First international win. While the players relished their success on the road, they had little to be happy about at Giant Stadium. 
New York only won three games at home. Fewest ever for a Super Bowl winner. No one was immune to the unusual slump, not even Eli Manning. Go from having a great throw and then throwing a ball as if he's never seen a defensive back before. That's just a bad play. Despite the worst performance of the year, the struggles didn't last long. The next week, Manning led a brilliant fourth quarter comeback. Where else but on the road? Good job by Eli Manning. Patiently saw his receiver and got it to him without a panic. Drops it back. Pumps, looks, throws in the end zone. Caught touchdown, Giants. Handoff drone. going to bounce to the outside and walk in for the touchdown. This team's showing some guts and showing a lot of character in winning this game. Manning and company showed plenty of grit the next week in Philadelphia. The hard-fought victory put New York one win away from a playoff berth. Hey, like they said, we are the most unimpressive 8-14 to <laughs> they ever seen. Nothing was uglier than the conditions in Buffalo. New York used this versatile rushing attack to overcome the weather and a 14-point deficit. Manning, handoff right for Jacob. There Finds a crease. 35-30 to the right side by 20. 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Brandon Jacobs. As the snow flurries come down, handoff Bradshaw up the middle, finds a crease, up to the 20, 25-30, it's a foot race, Bradshaw to the 40, to midfield, no one's going to get the rookie, Adam Marshall, 30, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Ahmad Bradshaw, and the rookie may have run the Giants into the postseason. Thanks to their seventh straight victory away from home, the Road Warriors were headed back to the playoffs for the third consecutive year. The 10 and 5 Giants seemingly had nothing to gain in the finale. But Coach Coughlin played his starters with the hope of achieving a season long goal to play their best football at the end of the year. Look at deep post, wide open down the middle of the field. This flexible burst, who makes a leap and catch and is knocked down at the 18 yard line. They roll the pocket to the right. Man bumps, throws one right into the end zone. Touchdown! What a throw by Manning as Eli fires his third touchdown pass of the ball game. The decision to go all out paid off. Eli Manning had the best performance of his career, and the Giants finally played a complete game. Hicks in at the Giant 25 to the 30, 35, 40, has a seam at midfield, breaks left, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Dominic Hickson. And the Patriots' perfect season is very much in jeopardy. Although New York fell short in the end, the Giants earned the respect of the best team in the game and proved that they could compete with anyone. Well, if they play like they played tonight, the New York Giants can make some hay in the NFC playoffs. 80 degrees in January. Don't feel like home field advantage to me. To reach the Super Bowl, the Giants had to take the most difficult path. Three straight wins on enemy soil was daunting, but the Road Warriors wouldn't have had it any other way. We travel. We went on the road. We didn't travel. We to make a run at the Lombardi Trophy, the Giants knew they had to do two things. The first, hit the quarterback. Hit him once you come right back and hit his ass again. Pressure up the middle, he slides left, throws it left for Galloway. Intercepted by Corey Webster. What a job. Come on, let's go. The second objective, don't turn the ball over. Against Tampa Bay, the Giants executed the plan perfectly. Manning back to throw, looks right, throws it for Jacobs, makes the catch at the five, into the end zone for the touchdown. Manning back to throw, pumps, looks, fires right for Tuber in the end zone, touchdown Giants, Lamonte Tuber. They lead it 24-7, Manning, 20 of 27, a buck 85, two touchdowns. Never put the ball in harm's way. Off to Dallas. Off to Dallas. The Cowboys defeated New York twice during the regular season and figured they would do the same in the playoffs. But it didn't take long for Dallas to discover 
that this wasn't the same Giants team. Manning takes the snap, back to throw, swings one left, wide open, two at the Cowboys 40. Shed's attack, look down the left sideline. Touchdown, Amani Toomer! He's been sensational, particularly when they need him. Late in the first half, Dallas was on the verge of taking control. The Giants needed a score. They needed the best of Eli Manning. In the end, they got both. Manning back to throw, has time, lobs one right, and it's caught by Steve Smith. Has time, delivers one right, Boss makes the catch. Boy, it'd be great if the Giants could get seven here. Looks over the middle for Tumor, makes the catch. Touchdown, Amani Tumor. So the Giants go 71 yards in the final minute of the half, and they're an extra point away from tying it. Yes, sir, every time they score, we score. Rise up, D. Rise up, D. Come on. Yeah, go. For the second straight week, the defense was as flawless as Manny, smothering the NFC's best offense. With the clock running out, New York had to hold Dallas one last time. So it's wow. down to one play. A season is down to one play. They got a goal to the end zone. End zone. Here we go, fourth and 11 at the Giants 23. 16 seconds to go. Giants leading by four. Romo takes the snap. Back to throw, has time to the end zone. Intercepted by the Giants. <laughs> The Giants, they have earned a trip to the NFC Championship game in Green Bay at historic Lambeau Field. That's a great win. That's a great Speech. win. Nobody gave us a chance. We came here. We know we had to do it. Let's have a team. One, two, three. Team. The Giants' playoff run began in 80-degree temperatures. Now their fate would be decided in the third coldest game ever played. All you hear about is the path, the path, the path of this, the path of that. Brett Favre this, Brett Favre that. The path is the path. This is the path. New York was unfazed by the Packer mystique or the frigid temperature. Several times during the regular season, the Giants had success in harsh conditions. Those experiences prepared them for this moment. I don't think the Giants are afraid of us. Boy, this has been a well-prepared New York Giants defense. No matter how hard the Packers tried, the Giants wouldn't give in. Looking for Tumor down the sideline. What, what a catch! What a pass. Only he could have caught that ball. Manning handoff from Bradshaw. Cuts up the middle to the goal line. No signal yet. Is he in? Touchdown, Giants. This is Four seconds to go. Four seconds to the Super Bowl. Time to try to kick the Giants into the Super Bowl. Hines from 36 yards out for the win. Snap aside, Beagles gets it down. Kick a line drive and it is no good. Left. Missed it wide left. And we're going to overtime. Let's go, one time. We get the ball back, one drive, field goal, we win this. Come on now, let's go! Let's go, D! All season when things look bleak, New York found a way. This would be no exception. Far back to pass, takes a deep drop, steps up, looking to his right. The pass intercepted by the Giants at the 40-yard line. Corey Webster got the pick. Believe it, we're going to win this damn game. Come on, man, come on. Finish. Here we go again. Comes Tynes. Comes Tynes again. Here we go again. You 
got a stomach for high drama and intrigue, this is it. Doesn't get any better than this. All right, here goes Tynes again from 47 yards. Snap is good. Kick on its way. End over end. Does it have the distance it is? Good! Yeah! Yeah! Lawrence Tynes has kicked the Giants to the Super Bowl. After missing at the end of regulation, in overtime, they beat the Packers 23-20. Yeah! We got to the Super Bowl, man! Thank you, man. Let's go get it. We ain't finished. Thank you, man. I love you. Thank you. The Road Warriors successfully completed their three-game quest, but the most difficult leg of the journey still lie ahead. Winning three road playoff games against three division winners was the easy part. Now, New York had to play the perfect game against the perfect team. If the Giants were able to conquer the only 18-0 team in Super Bowl history, it was fitting that they would do it as the visitors. We ain't supposed to be here, right? The quarterback cannot be sacked, can't even be hit. We don't stand a chance. How was that frostbite? Oh, That was man. pretty cold, wasn't it? At least they're talking about my face this year. Last year was my <laughs> <laughs> The 2007 Giants were a reflection of their coach. Sharp, tough, resilient, willing to do whatever was necessary to win. Even if it was something no team had been able to do all year, like knocking Tom Brady off his game. This quarterback's internal clock has been just discombobulated. Big Blue's rush was so dominant that the highest scoring offense in NFL history was held to a season low 14 points. Go get it! Go get it! Brady back, has time, steps up, gets hit, Zach fumble the football, it's loose on the ground, they scramble for it. Giant ball at midfield. He cannot block me. I know he can. Inside, outside. He's gonna get every bit of it today. While veterans like Michael Strahan were playing their best, it was one of the Giants' eight rookies who jump-started a fourth-quarter comeback. Manning, back to throw. Sets, looks, over the middle. Boss makes the catch on the run. Still on his feet across midfield, to the 40, to the 35, and knocked down at the 34-yard line. Kevin Boss. Tyree in motion, handoff, bump, play fake, manning the throw to the end zone. Touchdown, David Tyree on the post, and the Giants have the lead with 11.05 to go in the ball game. If you're a Giant fan, you're believing. Believe it! Go! The prospect of a Giant upset was very real, but New England refused to go quietly. Lobs one right for Moss, touchdown! The Patriots have the lead with 2.42 to go. What a Super Bowl this has been. Can the Giants do it? They're down by four. Now moving in, we got to bleed. We got plenty of time. 17, 17, 14 is the final, okay? 17, 14, fellas. One touchdown, we are world champion. This is what every quarterback lives for, chance to win the game. Can Eli Manning do it? You got to go 83 yards in 239. It's all you, Eli, here we go. The biggest play of Eli Manning's life was emblematic of the Giants' season. It started off disastrously, but ultimately provided one of the most exhilarating moments in NFL history. Third and five from their own 44. Manning takes the snap, back to throw, under pressure, avoids the rush, and he's gonna fight out of it, still fights out of it, now throws it deep downfield, wide open Tyree, makes the catch! What a play. What a play by Manning. How did he get away from that? I have no idea. I am still flabbergasted with what Eli Manning was able to do. What 
What a catch by Tyree. Oh. Tyree had Harrison all over him. The ball was on his helmet. There's no quit in this team. There's no die in this team. The gasp and the grasp kept the dream alive. Moments later, that dream became a reality. Manning takes the snap, looks left, lobs it left, first is wide open, touchdown Giants! This quarterback and his receiver just made the biggest plays of their Giants career. And the New York Giants are the Super Bowl 42 champions. The team the critics predicted would tear itself apart ended up banding together to set an NFL record with 11 consecutive road victories. You beat them, man. Just the way you did it, too. 18 and 1. <laughs> These road warriors may not have been perfect, but in the end, they were the only thing they ever wanted to be world champions. What a season from 0 and 2 to 14 and 6 after a 17 year win. The Lombardi Trophy returns to Giant Stadium. Hey Giants fans, Saquon Barkley here. You want to see more videos? Subscribe below.